What's up guys? And you join me Justin and I'm driving the BMW M440i Okay, so I've been driving this car around now for a couple of days and this, it's, not, it's weird because it is extremely fast and it handles quite well thanks to the X-Drive system However, even in sport mode, sport plus mode, the suspension is really soft. It's not really that loud, although there is a, a very nice engine note. Um, I kind of find that the car feels more like a very well put together GT car. This thing will just chump any road that you put in front of it. And I like that because it's not hardcore all the time. It's actually quite nice. What you might think is not nice are the looks. Now they are subjective, really. Uh, I don't, I don't mind the looks anymore. Oh, there was a bird. I don't mind the looks anymore. Um, I do feel that from some angles the car looks really nice, and from others it doesn't. I have to show you this, okay? So just just come with me quickly, and let's have a look, okay? Ugh. It's in a really nice little spot over here. Okay, so let me let me explain, all right? Okay. Okay. So let's look at it like this. Looking at it there, it doesn't look so bad. Actually, looks quite nice. However, when you come here. Doesn't look too bad. It's this man. Like that does not look bad. That looks quite nice. Even dead on rear. That looks quite nice. And it's locked in because it's got a proximity sensor and the keys in my pocket. So it's a bit annoying. So we'll open the door. Okay, so like I said, there are certain angles where the car looks good, and there are certain angles where the car doesn't look so good. I feel that there are more angles where the car doesn't look good. Then there are angles where it does look good but that is my opinion your opinion might be different what is it like to drive while well, we are zooming right now and i must say this thing is so good it is so planted you can really wring its neck oh oh it's just so fast and i've got this assurance with this x drive system like I'm not worried about, about the road surface, about bumps. I've just, there's so much grip. Steering feel is really good. And this eight speed auto makes light work of changing gears. I'll be honest with you, I came down here in the new M3 and I wasn't this confident. Like over there, I, I had to slow down. I wasn't this confident in the new M3. However, in this thing, I can just really exploit the upper levels of its performance so well. It is so good. Okay, I'm going to slow it down a bit. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> um, I think this motor, this, this 3 litre inline 6 turbocharged motor, with this 275 kilowatts, 500 newton meters of torque, it just delivers. Like, there's just a swell, and you can really ride the torque. It's, it's, it's always there when you need it. I mean, 0 to 100 in this thing is claimed at 4.5 seconds, which is, that's potent, potent stuff. And when I calm it down, which I'm gonna do now, oh, I mean, it does sound nice, it does sound nice. Let's get inside and have a look what's what okay very nice leather trim uh, I really like the, the look of this thing it's great um, everything is, is just nice and uh, feels good to the touch we all aircon buttons over here yeah, well I have a very large 
Touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay, that's fantastic. A digital instrument cluster, which the graphic does change a bit when I go from sport to, to comfort to, uh, oh, there it's just calmed down completely, uh, to eco mode, so everything goes blue. Although we are on this road, so I'll leave it in sport. But these really nice sports seats and this red interior with like a silver trim all over here. Um, okay, guys, be honest with you. Interior looks very similar to every other BMW now. Like every other BM has this interior. I can hop into the new M5 and know exactly what's going on. I can hop into an X5 and know exactly what's going on. And this is a 4 Series and I can hop into a 3 Series and it's exactly the same and I know what's going on. I know where all the buttons are. I know how everything works and all that kind of stuff. So, there's that. We're living in a world where cars are immensely fast and uh, after driving that M3 it's just so much that you have to do behind the wheel you've got to concentrate so hard you've got to judge the road surface make sure that the, that, that the car is settled before you jump on the accelerator because sending all of that power to the rear wheels only can become problematic traction control lights up the whole time this traction control doesn't light up at all uh, because there's just so much of it <laughs> I would much rather have the M340i because I think it looks better and you have the four doors and yeah but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and joining me on this nice little Sunday drive um, yeah make sure you subscribe and I'll chat to you soon bye